Hey everybody, welcome back to Rough Night Gaming. I'm Marcus. And I'm Travis. And we're playing Dark Souls 3, Long Time No See Edition. So, we're in the Shadow World? Yeah, we're in Untended Graves, which is the the Dark World, which some people think is, like, the, light world. the past. Some people think it's the future. And... We're just doing things that we need to do before we finish the game, essentially, right? Like, Well, we also got the DLC... Backstab, but yeah, this um, this guy's so. The first time we were here, you did not do super great. Oh no! And that continues. Okay, <laughs> and that continues. No, no. <laughs> it's been a minute. It's been a minute. Um, but uh, yeah, last was it last episode? You killed the Prince Lothric, which was nice, and both you've Prince actually Lothrics. you've killed um, the other was Lorien, remember? Uh, but they ended up. Um, that that was the last of the of the of the people that you needed to kill before to, final boss time. That's right, yeah. Um, but we're coming back through here, which is optional. Um, you've leveled up a lot. You've got some much better items. I don't think you had this sword last time. I don't think I did either. Um, I think I was rocking the broken sword like I have this whole game. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! You can't get to this part without fighting the boss to get this sword, and I'm pretty sure I made you get this sword right away, so I think you did have this sword. Oh, well, it wasn't as cool, maybe? It, You haven't leveled it up as, as much as you have now, I think, but also, you, period, have leveled up a bit, so. Oh, man. Less than good, less than no. good, suboptimal. <laughs> What's that about rolling? To never mind, never mind, yeah. forget about it. Yeah. You know what, I'm not, like, super upset with how that went for, uh, First time playing in, like, I don't know, however long. Nobody wants to hear about that kind of stuff. But uh, there's not too much after this guy, right? Like, this just leads you back to the bonfire. This leads back to um, Firelink Shrine, but, like, the dark alternate version of it. What? Yeah. What? Um, but there's some items there that have some lore significance. That, Inside the arena? Yes. That we will be... Should I just grab him in case I never beat Champion Gunder? No, 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 not, sorry. Not the arena of Champion Gunder. But oh, oh, oh. In, ins um, inside the Firelink Shrine alternate version. Got it. So we're going to be trying to rouse all of the bad guys to come fight me. Yeah, same time. And then I'm Maybe gonna they'll explode. fight the boss. They can't make it through the Shadow Wall. Ah, oh, damn it. God, damn, Travis. Stupid. So Stupid. Well, the last time we um, re recorded, there was a. Uh, it was like months and months ago. So much has changed. And then we released the episodes months late. <laughs> so we were like referencing things that were way out of date. Our channel is on point. We know exactly <laughs> what our viewers want. Yeah. And so um, I'm sure if we mention something now that's been happening no. in the real world that once again, it'll be completely, completely too late to be relevant. So is the curse of fame. It decays so quickly. The, the curse of humanity is yeah. the curse of fame. Watch out. Ow! He's gonna run me down. And he spins it, and he's about to drop and roar. Hmm, I seem to have forgotten some of his moves. Let your let your stam come up before you engage again. Why isn't it coming up faster? You have a pretty good stam recovery, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, but no, I don't. You, you get your ass handed by this guy. I know, he's just so powerful. You know what, I should probably try to spook and hidden body. Just sneak around him to the door. There you go. That's the reason why we equip those spells, right? Like, nah, it's like it's like straight up video game logic here, where you you walk into a door that has the boss room, and all the doors lock, and they are impossible to get out of until he dies, right? He until had he dies, key within his butthole. Yeah, <laughs> and it was impossible to take off of him. It's in his butthole. You can't get things <laughs> out of the butthole. It's in his after, butthole, Travis. After they are in the butthole, they're very hard to get out. Yeah, you know, death really is the only way to get them out. But we'll try. We'll, we'll try to do the death thing again. So, um, um, we were kind of talking about. <laughs> might as well get into it. <laughs> we we're, you know, because you listen to this show to talk about politics, right? <laughs> um, no, that's not what our listeners listen to this show for. For our insight on how to live their lives, because yeah, the, we're, we're very preachy. The political climate is. Not being a very good uh, leader on how to how to be good people. Yeah, so we're so we're uh, so people come to us for that. Yeah, guidance. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're that's true. 
we are the model as to which people need to. So um, before we get too into this fight, what now? What <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna mention some things, some tips to fight him. So this is a straight on one v one fight, right? You gotta treat this fight like Artorias. You know how well and that went. Spend for you. fifty five minutes on it. <laughs> yeah, is that because I I feel like that was this that was fifty five minutes of like after we cut stuff too. Yeah, <laughs> the run back to Artorias was a bit Quite longer. Long. Um, but like you said, you cut stuff for the episode. That um, was really fun, though. Was like the fight. I, yeah, I this fight so is similarly fun. He's one of my favorite fights as champion Gunder because it has this like tit a tat. You're looking for opportunities. You're fighting. You're playing defensively. You're rolling through attacks. You have to like. You can't just like willy nilly get it. Yeah, at him. I mean, I'm not gonna say that it's not a fun fight because it definitely doesn't feel unfair. Like because some of the fights you're like, oh, this is, you know, you. Oh God. <laughs> you do you do like one wrong thing and all of a sudden you're fucking caboodled. Uh, but you know this happens. That's that's Dark Souls, I guess. I didn't even get to a second phase last Watch time. Chat for the kicks. <laughs> yeah. And right side is the way. Like my right his left is the way I need to roll on him. Um. Yeah. yeah I mean, just kind of depends on his attack, I guess. All right. All right. Stamina. Right. You know me. I no, like to roll no, into okay. attacks. Not to the oh, side. Oh, you're still alive. You're still alive. You're not, you're not I tried alive. to roll into him, Travis. <laughs> Travis! All right. Okay. All right. No more fucking around. At least you can get to him without taking any damage or requiring it to. Thanks. Thanks, coach. Thanks. <laughs> At least you can run to him. I know. There's been times where I haven't been able to do that. But now, I got all this stamina. I don't yeah. know what to do with it. Except for fucking waste it during the fight. Mm. So... You started to bring up something, and then you backed out of it real quick. Oh, well, because we were, we were talking, but I was just talking about politics. <laughs> As one does when they're old, grumpy men, like Travis says, actually, fucking... Travis has always been an old, grumpy man, and I have not until I met Travis, and now... And now you, too, are a grumpy old man. I'm grumpier than I once was. <laughs> Maybe you're just getting older... No, oh, no, 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 that can't be. That has nothing to do with it. Uh, okay. it's, it all has... Uh, I, my negative influence is rubbing off on you. Yeah, I think that's exactly what yeah. is happening here. So tell me... So obviously, for um, people who are paying attention, I suppose, there's a very big story that's been going on. Um, the hearing for uh, Brit putting Kavanaugh onto the Supreme Court... And so that's that's like a massive story. It's like literally the whole country is paying attention to it. It's like annoyingly Drink. massive. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean it was kind of ramping up before, but that was it. Just the other day is when it really went all the way through, where the actual like you know testimony was given and all that. Yeah. Um. Oh. And, and in fact, I I mean you, you know checked. most most things I wouldn't have listened to, but actually, I tend to listen to NPR on the way to work, and it was. It was an actual, like, live listening to it. Uh-huh. Um, which they don't always do, you know? They don't do, like, a just no commentary, just listening. They don't do Senate floor stuff. They usually yeah, do, yeah. like... They just summarize it later, and, yeah, because yeah, a lot of it's kind of dull. But this one was, like, really, like, movie dramatic. But, I mean, they've been dramatic. It for, like, two weeks. I listen to, like, a New York Times podcast that comes out every day. It's mm-hmm. called The Daily. How ironic, right? <laughs> Excellent naming. And the past two weeks has been entirely about this Kavanaugh thing, which has been, one, very, very annoying, because <laughs> how many different angles can you tell this story from, you know? it's I'm sure there's more, but here's the thing, that there's always, there's more news coming out about it almost every day. Like, relevant news, not just, like, you know, details that add to one, to a thing. They're more like, you know, uh, there's like a whole new aspect that comes out every single day. Sure, and the trial itself was actually... It, was, it wasn't even a trial. It's not a trial. It's not a trial. No. But they, people are treating it like a trial. It, it's a hearing. The, the hearing itself was very, it, unfortunately, entertaining to watch because it's two people like airing out their dirty laundry. Yeah. Um, to put it like a little callously. Sure. You are doing a lot of damage, which is really nice. Each of your strikes does a significant portion of his total health. Which means I suck. I get it, Travis. Watch out. Remember, he... Yeah, there you go. I don't know how to avoid that, though, like, just, appropriately say, without having Even if you're missing a little bit of health, I'd say just drink, because you've got... 
Well, and then finding a safe finding time, the time to do yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That, like, wow. pier- piercing... Oh, Oof. you son of a bitch. Hey, you got some of your health back. Watch out. <laughs> that kick is awesome. It looks super cool. And right. It's really The first hard time to... he did it, I was like, what? Yeah, right. Because drink. Um, I don't know how to deal with this charge very well. No, there's <sighs> a, I also don't know how to best deal with it. You just because you shield you through it, and then he busts your your block, and then he fucking like pokes you to death, or you try to roll, and you can't like roll all the way out of it for some reason. Like right. the, it's it's too big. I've got a quick question. Yeah. So every time I come up from the um, the bonfire, I have like little tiny status effects that are all empty yeah why why is that that doesn't always happen is, is it a ring i have on or i want to say it is oh, um, okay. i'm not sure what rings you're rocking because it's been a while but it's like it's like mm, it's kind of like your resistance is popping up like and Just i don't know why me. yeah it's like whenever you equip something that gives you resistance to something it like pops up the like let's say you put a ring that's resistant to poison it'll pop up the poison the meter. poison meter and i don't know really what that means maybe it's to show you the new speed of resistance i don't actually know what maybe. it means i would just imagine that it's probably to be like remember you've got this resistant type thing yeah it could just be a glitch for all i know <laughs> oh no way there's no glitches this game is fucking perfect in every way <laughs> um anyway back to the kavanaugh thing it's a i think one of the reasons why it's uh so kind of captivating is because one it is a very important like lifetime appointment and two like the two sides of it oh god both uh, yeah Ooh. that's one way to you know what that mark is? that was devastating nope bad time oh god oh god what just happened there <laughs> that was lucky he done fucked up oh that kick to the face didn't feel great ah! Oof. Hmm. Oh, yeah, man. I don't know. It's weird because I don't know. I just suck. I just suck. Dips. I'm gonna ember this time. And see if that gets me gets me anywhere. You should do it before you run in. I agree. But what if I get invaded? Uh. So what I was saying is like it's on your other bar. Oh, it's on my quick bar. Uh, it's, it's not, not. On my quick bar. Well, good thing I didn't wait till the. Yeah. <laughs> wait till the. Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? Where's it? It's in my bag somewhere. I know it is. Um is because there's a lot of different angles that you can take on it, too. The fact that, like, yeah, it's nobody's going to say that it, what he did was insignificant. Um, but it also is like he did it you know, 37 years ago, which is a long time ago, which doesn't necessarily speak to who he is as a person now, although his, like, voting record does, and, like, the things that he said on his trial does, like... The fact that... Hearing. Yeah. Well, it is hearing... No, it's job interview. I, I did say trial. I didn't mean trial. But, um, you know, the, I guess it is still a hearing for... Um, there might be a, te- a legal term that hearing means that maybe I maybe I don't hearing know. is not the but right But I, I, I'm not it talking not about... a trial. I'm not talking about, like, the him and her thing. I'm talking about before that came up. Sure. Um, to, uh... Oh. Oh, we got you. My face! Not my face! Cool. He missed your face. No. Oh, what? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what just happened? I don't know. I thought I was what dead, dead. Drink. Because uh, I drank too late. Oh. oh. Um, just, just going backwards is really not a great plan. I didn't know what else to do. You want to roll left or right, depending on how he's swinging, and then, or forward, you know. Um. Yeah, so I'm just going to do this for a second. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, I, what other opinions do you have? <laughs> like, like on I'm, him as a candidate? Uh, or just on just the whole situation. Uh, as long as you miss the last swing. Him jabbing you is fine, but the last swing is what really does the damage. Drink. There you go. Oh, that was way early. It was okay, though. Okay, don't take more than one swing. Oh, nice. You rolled through that. Uh, Wait for him to be, like, recovering from his moves before you swing, and only take one. Oh. 
Nice. <laughs> you, <laughs> you made a gamble and it paid off. I feel like that has happened so many times and it has not paid off. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Today it worked. And yeah, I think after just fighting him a couple times, I was like, oh yeah, this is his tell. This is his, it just, it just took a couple times. Nice. Let's, okay. Let's get that, um, thing in the corner. I think it's a black knight weapon. Who are the black knights affiliated with again? Yeah, it's Clave. Should we read it? Uh, go ahead. Yeah, why not? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Glaive, glaive, glaive. Where's my glaive section? Warning hammer, probably around here somewhere. Red. You've gone. Okay, all right. No, nah, it's back up. Oh, God. It's not this. Oh, no, never mind. That's it. <laughs> glaive of the black knights who wander the lands, used to face chaos demons. The unique attack of this glaive greatly reduces enemy poise, reflecting the tremendous size of the enemies that the knights have fearlessly faced. Hmm. Cool. Radical. All right, let's use that. Use that like sword. this. Bam. Most you can keep going. Time. Should I rest? Uh, yeah, if you want, you go for it. Do I want to? Yeah, of course I want to. I'm embered, y'all. Oh, it was the embering. Totally did it. Yeah, Save, right. Saving my bacon. Um, is there cool stuff to talk about coming up? Should I, like, bite my tongue for a second? Um, the door! I mean, we know that this is Firelink Shrine, the dark version. Um, but the, the lore stuff doesn't come up for a little bit. Okay, okay. Because, so, on his job interview, essentially, you know, Kevin was like, oh, yeah, I don't see why the president can't, you know, um, uh, pardon himself or, like, take himself out of or fire Mueller or, like, all these things that kind of paints him squarely in the president's corner. And you know he's he's pretty um, squarely against Roe v. Wade, which is a bummer, um, which is, like, the abortion law. And um, he just... I hear a lot of people saying, like, well, we're not going to get any better than Kavanaugh. It's like, really? Like, he's the best? I just hate the dichotomy of the two-party system, you know? Like, it, it feels very much we're supposed to be one united nation but that's not how it comes across at all you know what i mean like it's definitely like dems versus republicans and i maybe it's because i'm an adult now but it definitely feels like it's worse than i've ever noticed it before and talking to older people they kind of feel the same way that um eh, that it, it almost doesn't matter what your beliefs are if you are like Democratic. Uh, oh, I don't even have my thing on. Oh, there it is. I mean, you could have backstabbed him if he snuck up behind. Yeah, him. but. But what? Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Because <laughs> that was way more satisfying. That's, That's pretty exactly good. That's nice. So anyway, he was not like the best guy, but apparently he was the best that we were gonna get from, quote unquote, the opposition. Which is fucking weird to say, because we're all supposed to be rooting for the same thing, I think. <clears throat> and, yeah, to have this thing creep up from 37 years ago that apparently he doesn't remember or didn't happen, according to his story. Because it's, it's a completely he said, she said type of thing, right? Because he denies it 100%. He never is like, oh, you know, well, maybe, like... Because if he does, then it's it completely falls on her. So, he, he like, legitimately... Uh, not legitimately. He he has to. He has to deny it. At That's this the point Hornet ring, does. by the way. If you just, if we take a look at that thing, at this point he has to deny it. Uh, yeah, but you know what I mean. Between a he said, she said. So ring associated with the Lord Blade's uh, Lord's Blade, uh, Kieran, one of the four knights of Gwyn, the first lord. The masked Kieran was the only woman to serve in Gwyn's four knights, and her curved sword granted a swift death to any and all enemies of the throne. Um, so if you'll recall back in Dark Souls 1, after you killed Artorius, there was that lady who was looking for his soul, and you gave it to her, and she was happy that you gave it back to her, and she was sad that Artorius was dead, but n knew that he m should die. Vaguely, okay, yeah. Um, that would be her ring. Mm. And in fact, um, if you recall, I think there was another item that we got near there that was like the wolf sword or something like that. Watch out there. Um, in the real world or the other world that, uh, no, oh. <laughs> that uh, basically indicates, and because, um, what's his name, the other, the crestfallen guy who also is part of the wolf's Daniel group, um, they... You're you're gonna die, dude. You're gonna uh, get out of that situation. Yeah. Um, a lot of walls you can, here. It's pretty much uh, in. It's pretty much um, 
implied that that grave is Artorius's grave. Nice. Oh. I see. I don't think you have the stats for that gear, but it is nice that you that it dropped. But you know, if I ever do have the stats, if I ever go pump up the jams, hit the gym a little bit, get swole. Chaos hey, blade. It's an improved version of the weapon that the Swordmaster had, I believe. Uh, is it worth a read? Why not? Yeah, he had the Ujikatana. The Chaos Blade is that one. what he had. A cursed sword of unknown origin, bearing uncanny streaks on its blade. The attack. The sword is not unlike a thing misshapen, granted life, but never welcome in this world. In other words, chaos itself. So, but... There's Chaos Demons, and the Dark Knights are fighting the Chaos Demons, and then we find a weapon of chaos. Is that essentially the tie-in there? Like, does that make sense? Yeah, maybe. And what's this? Oh, it's a soul. Crestfallen. Fantastic. Um, inside now? Or I guess there's this... Is there anything around there? No. Negative. Alright, inside. Here we go. It's just a whole weird dynamic. So do you um, do you consider him fit for the office outside of this situation, assuming it's not true? I, I mean, it's pretty clear that uh, my views are lean more democratically, and when I say lean more democratically... It's dark in here. Definitely more democratically. It's because it's not lit. <gasps> There's nothing too light. Fuck. Um, is he fit for office? Yeah, I think he's, like, of sound body and mind, and... Um, hold on, I'm gonna grab this. Coiled sword fragment. I'll definitely read that. Is it, uh... Yeah, it'd be here. Uh, okay. No, it'd be there. I'm pretty sure. There it is. Fragment of the coiled sword of a bonfire, which served its purpose long ago. Bonfires are linked to one another irreversibly, retaining their affinity long after their purpose is exhausted. Uh, this one, essentially, is a permanent version of the homeward bone. We can uh, replace the homeward bone with that thing. Uh, so you said that people think that... Oops. Nope. No, that's why. You said that people think that this is the past, but this seems more like the future, right? Um, because everything's The ash. fact that, that Gunder is alive and well Makes and a like champion that. instead of an Uadex. Also, this lady's here. This is interesting. Oh. She's got um She's got Artorius's gear. Artorius's right. stuff. That's we, cool. We can read it. Helm of a knight tainted by the dark of the abyss. The twilight blue tassel is damp and will never remain so. A vanquished knight left behind only wolf's blood and his legacy of duty. The undead legion of Farron was formed to bear his torch, and the armor of these abyss watchers suggests their own eventual end. Same. Same. Yeah. Same. So this ring, too, though, um, this one is engraved with a portrait of the High Priestess itself. In Lothric, the High Priestess has long been considered one of the three pillars of the king's rule. The High Priestess also served as the prince's wet nurse. You know, okay, so this is an extra little thing. So you know how they talked about, um, we learned that, that the caregiver or the caretaker, um, caregiver, I guess, um, of the princes help turn their mind against them. Mm -hmm. um, if you look at the picture of the priestess ring, um, it kind of looks like her. This lady the right here. The crone here? Yeah. Um, now that could just be coincidence. Can oh, we get a yeah. better picture? Uh, press, the, press the button to read it. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, now, that could just be coincidence. That yeah. could just be, you know, old ladies wearing those kind of clothing. Um, but that's rather interesting, I think. Oh, yeah. She's totally their winners. <laughs> we got Andre. Blacksmith's hammer. Is that a weapon or is that an item? Uh, I believe it's a weapon. Um, and also in the original Dark Souls, if you killed Andre, he would drop that. Because if you kill him in this one, he just comes back, right? Yes. That's I weird. don't know what he drops. If he drops anything in this one. Metal hammer passed down amongst blacksmiths of the shrine. Serves as a strike weapon, but also excels at reducing poison and breaking the guard of a shield. Of course, such a hammer's true potential is realized in the hands of a blacksmith. 
So it doesn't. It's not like lore heavy there. No, it? no. It's really just you know, like it's just a blacksmith hammer. Uh -huh. All right, let's go uh, kind of explore all around this place. And um, did you say that he dropped it in the original one too? Yes. Oh, okay. If you killed him, he would drop it. And then of course you could not use him to repair your gear or to not repair, but to um. The permanent consequences of killing your him. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I liked that though. Like they they said, well, you're too fucking bad. It's your own your own damn fault. Yeah. No, I remember uh, not having my friends that I hit one time with my sword by accident, and the whole world is forever changed. Yeah. All right. So these look. Imp this is actually sealed off. Why don't you hit it? Illusion oh. ahead. Oh. oh, and this is where the lady of that that um the the lady that the pff, yeah I know what you're talking about the firekeeper who was a failed firekeeper. Let's read that because that's important. These items. A pair of dark eyes, said to be the eyes of the first firekeeper and the light that was lost by all firekeepers to come. It reveals to the sightless firekeepers things that they should never see. Hmm. Yes, Do I need the to cinders of the Lord. Did we read these? If the lords would so. not return to their thrones themselves, let them return as cinders. The Lothric bloodline was obsessed with creating a worthy heir, and when this proved impossible, resorted to unspeakable means. Suffice it to say, the path to linking the fire is a cursed one indeed. Do do we know what these unspeakable means are? Like, um, kind of, kind of. Okay, all right. Let, let's explore the upper reaches of this area too, shall we? There's a lot of good shit in here, man. Uh, this chair is empty. So you think that this is the past as well? That's your speculation. Um. Uh, I, I think so, yeah. Um, you know what's cool is, you know that, that serpent ring that you got up top in that secret area? Mm -hmm. uh, if you go there again, you can find another secret ring. Well, Yeah. Uh, let's go outside. You know, not the front entrance, but through that side entrance with the... Okay. Where the... What's-his-face is? Uh, it's up here and then to the left. Got yeah. It. Where our good friend... What's his name? Okay, here we are. So this is, uh, yeah, one of the golems from number two, right? Right, yeah. Can you talk to it at all? Or not know. a talk, but, you know, approach it, examine Ooh, yeah, it. yeah, I can. Can I go inside? Can I see his memories? No, you just got another seed. The seed, the seed. I don't remember what I'm supposed to do with those, to be honest. Uh, they help you in PvP. Ugh, pfft, gross. I can't go in here. Doesn't even, like, give me the option to jiggle the handle? Uh, no. I think you're... We're all explored? I think you are explored for this part. Let us head back to Firelink Shrine using your newfangled uh, thing. And let's go meet Ludleth. But I mean, that's kind of a weird, like, um, just dead end, right? It is not, because the item that you just got, the eyes of the Firekeeper, are worth on their own. Let's talk to Ludleth first. He's up here? Yes. Uh, yeah. So cute and feeble. But he shall die a colossus. Yeah, that's what he said. So it, it 
it seems that all of this has happened and will happen again. You know, like the big circle that we've been talking about, mm-hmm. the circle of life. <laughs> um, let's see. What do you get from... Oh, yeah, this is so the prisoner's chain. That's a really good one. Portion of a steel chain used to restrain Gunder. Gain vigor, endurance, and vitality, but take extra damage. A prisoner is one who has staked everything on a belief. A proclivity most apparent in the greatest of champions. And this is also the Gunder's halberd. Uh, this old cast iron halberd has the power to break poise and is said to never crumble, seeming to suggest that Gunder was fated to eternal service from the beginning. Mm. Did we take a look at what the Lothric Brothers is? I don't remember. Let's do it again then. Uh, no, that's High Lord Wolner. Let's uh, see. It should be. No, that's Pontiff. Pontiff. There's one of them. Let's read that. Uh, Before Lorien embraced his brother's curse, he was a knight who single-handedly slayed the demon prince. But the victory eternally scorched his sword with flame. Maybe this one next to it? No. How about that one? Anyway, I don't know which one it is. We'd have to search around for a bit. It might be a spell, too. That would make sense. I guess not. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know which weapon it is. Twin oh, princes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lothric's holy sword. Young Lothric was meant to be a champion and was expected to wield this platinum sword, but some things will remain distant dreams forever. It's actually not too bad a sword. Um, but it's not, Emma. not for yours. Emma was the gal in the... No, I think Emma might be like a goddess or something. Oh, okay. Actually, I don't remember. It might even be his, uh, his wet nurse. Actually, now that I think about it, it probably is. All right, um, so what he was saying was that, like, he was once a fire linker, right? Which we kind of knew. He was a champion. He once linked the fire, um, but his soul even has gone out. Now, let's go talk to the priestess, the lady that's down here. Um, But, like, he chose a path, but that, you know, a different path than the one shown in in the view. Let's see if those eyes have anything to do with her. Let's talk to her. No, I guess not. That's very interesting. I think we did pretty much end her quest line, so... Do you think that if we wouldn't have, she would have n- new things to say since getting that item? Well, we were supposed to... It was supposed... I think this... We did something wrong, because remember, we were supposed to touch her with that one... With the gloves? Glove, and it never worked. Hey, your little buddy's gone. What? Did you notice that? Oh, here? Yeah. Yeah. We'll go check it out next episode. Let's go talk to the fire keeper, though. And we are going to give her some things. Oh, we are. We've been wanting to give her for quite some Ooh. time. I feel bad. Let's give her the eyes first. Um, hold on. If you recall, we also got the soul from um, earlier in the game, but we've been holding on to it for a really long time. We didn't have a plan, did we? Oh, we were just buffing intelligence until intelligence can't be buffed anymore. All right, we're giving her the soul. No, give her the eyes. Give her the eyes. Even she knows what they do. Do it.
So she's saying if I change my mind? Yes, you can take the eyes from her and she will return to her past innocence. Huh. And you won't have to deal with that anymore. Just mm-hmm. give her the soul now, too. So do you recall that dark sigil that you gained um, to unlock the dark ending or one of the dark endings? Yeah. Um, now she can heal that dark sigil right there. At what cost is it? Uh, it's relative to oh. how many, how what soul level you are multiplied by an X amount. Got so it. it's very expensive. So Got it's it. not really worth it, especially at this level now, since you've already gotten the quest. However, it can also make you look pretty again. I was going to say, after it's washed clean, it doesn't continue to come back, right? That's correct. Because, yeah, there's not that guy to go talk to anymore. Uh-huh. Uh, I think that's a good place to end this episode for now. Okay. I thought that she didn't like the stuff that I gave her. She, she, she realizes that it has a power. Oh. Okay. All right. Yeah, I agree. Good place to stop. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, But for now, this has been Rough Night Gaming. I'm Marcus. And I'm Travis. And until next time, don't go hollow.